Hello, a few days ago I predicted that Donald Trump is going to win the nomination as the Republican candidate for President of the United States, and here is a link to the video in which I make this prediction. I made that prediction on January 31st, the day before the Iowa caucus on February 1st. Today is a few days later, it's February 3rd, and so far my prediction looks terrible um, because in the Iowa caucus, uh, Donald Trump was was expected to win, according to the polls, uh, and he came in second. And it appears, uh, according to the news reports anyway, that in the last few days, a lot of voters changed from voting for Trump to Marco Rubio, and Marco Rubio did much better than expected, did almost as well as Trump. Um, so it, apparently some people changed in the last few days leading up to the to the caucus to Rubio and there are probably other reasons as well uh, for why Donald Trump did not do as well as expected because Donald Trump runs on charisma and his bravado and the and he's always claiming to be a winner and now right off the bat he has lost he certainly lost some momentum um, he's expected to do well in the next vote, which is the primaries in New Hampshire. Maybe he'll recover if he, if he does do well. But right now, Donald Trump has taken a massive fall uh, in his standings and in his, you know, in his quest to become the nominee uh, for president for the Republican Party. So, so far, my forecast looks terrible. Um, Two thoughts about this. One, well, maybe he will recover. And the other thing that, that I've been thinking about is that when I looked at the forecast, we see transiting Pluto activating his, uh, what was it, transiting Pluto activating his Jupiter-Pluto opposition in the uh, eighth harmonic chart and uh, this Neptune-Pluto uh, resonance that happens. And I talk about the progressed Sun, conjunct his ascendant, all these wonderful things. I'm still convinced something wonderful is going to happen to Donald Trump. Maybe it's not the election. So my forecast is that if he that if I'm wrong and he does not win the nomination, somehow he's going to end up being a success, even though he fails in the election. His businesses will do well. Um, and here's the thing that I, I, I'm going to say about this. Obviously, he's putting a huge amount of time. These campaigns require huge amounts of time <clears throat> and money. He's funding it himself. So with this huge investment, this huge distraction from his normal business activities would seem to be a major loss for him. I'm predicting that it ends up being a huge asset, that his, his businesses and his stature grow, that this, if nothing else will become a well-paid-for advertisement campaign and he will benefit in the long run. Because the more I, I think about it, the astrology doesn't necessarily say that he's going to be successful in politics, but he it should be a success period for him. Now, uh, my last sentence here at the bottom of this uh, slide. If I am also wrong about this, that Trump's business suffers and his his uh, you know, he's not experienced a great growth period uh, during 2016 uh, up through about August or so is the period I looked at up until the um, Republican National Convention where they select the nominee. Uh, if I'm wrong and he, he loses the election and there's no big boost to his business uh, and his stature and popularity, then I'm, I put here in quotes, dead wrong. And if I'm dead wrong, we need to explore possible reasons why the prediction went wrong. Anyway, um, we'll see if he recovers or not. But anyway, I, I'm um, thinking about this, and so far my prediction is way off. And if it if it comes out that he does not have a big boost to his businesses and his popularity and, his, you know, all of these Jupiter-Pluto things, these big entrepreneurial things in 2016, then I'm dead wrong. And and then we really have a problem with our predictive methods. Anyway, I just re reviewing this and getting a little bit sobered by the fact that Trump did much worse in the first uh, voting, the, the Iowa caucus. Okay, my friends, uh, just a little update. I may update periodically as this race goes on and see 
how our prediction goes. Okay, thank you very much for listening. God bless. Namaste.